unofficial 502.5 kilo deadlift world record. So what are we talking about? We are talking about the Polish powerlifter, Krzysztof Wisbicki, under 105 kilo athlete, pulling 500 and 2.5 kilos. Now, no matter what we think about the lift, whether you're a fan of sumo, whether you're not, whether you're a fan of straps, and we'll go into all those details, 502.5 kilo, no matter how it's lifted, deserves respect. So as we can see, Christoph is pulling this sumo style with straps, which is kind of weird because straps aren't allowed in powerlifting. Sumo is not allowed in strongman. So it's like a weird hybrid of the two sports come together to make maybe the perfect storm for making a lift like this possible. I mean, he is perfectly built to sumo deadlift. Mm. When you look at his starting position, he's a very high chest position. Using the straps is gonna allow him a little bit more length in terms of the lift. And I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to put his lift down because it truly is incredible, but there's little intricacies that you can look at that do, you know, cause variables in terms of what people can lift. Now, he can't, you know, he can't apologize for being built the way he is. He's got those mechanical advantages. And when you look at any top lifter, whether it's a squatter, bench presser, deadlifter, they all have mechanical advantages compared to other lifters. So this is no criticism at all, but it's just a weird lift because it doesn't really fit into any of the sports. No. Like you say, you can't use straps in powerlifting for powerlifting records. Strongman doesn't allow sumo. So maybe there should be a new category of deadlift. Now, there's so many deadlifts, so yeah. it gets confusing. Yeah. But there are differences between ways, you know, certain deadlifts. So, for instance, I've spoken about 18-inch deadlifts before. You know, we put a video of Mark Felix doing an 18-inch deadlift world record. And people are like, that's not the world record. No, it was the 18-inch deadlift world record. It was actually the silver dollar, silver dollar deadlift, deadlift, which is a, a, yeah, another it, variation. You know, there's the Hummer tire deadlift. There's mm. the elephant bar deadlift. Oh, there's all, there's a <laughs> whole host of different bars which make a difference. Mm. If you pull on a stiff bar, for instance, compared to a deadlift bar, that's gonna make a difference. So there's just lots of variables when you look deep into it. Now, that takes nothing away from this achievement. Christoph is the first person to ever pull 502.5 kilos. And when you look at his body weight, truly incredible lifting. Congratulations to Christoph. I personally think we need to see this on a bigger stage. But what stage but can you put right it on? in the right setting. The thing know, is, like the Deadlift World Championships, he can't do it there because he can't lift sumo. I don't think this belongs in a strongman competition. No. I would like to see something like Christoph versus Jamal. Yes. Browner go head to head. In like a hybrid thing just made for them. Yeah. yeah. You know, he did it without a suit as well and a belt. I believe he? so. It doesn't look it like he's wearing no. a suit there, which is just crazy. But... You know, he's perfectly built for this lift. Why not? Right, this is a, a, a new thing that we're looking at. The guys that are the best at this can then, you know, go mm -hmm. and challenge. I can't look at this and say he's the strongest person in the world. You know, when you compare well, someone like Christoph to a, um, a Thor or an Eddie Hall, you have to look at their ability all round. Yeah, so he is course. a specialist in this movement. He's a great powerlifter, by the way, a very good powerlifter. But when you look at his other numbers, they're not quite as impressive compared to his deadlift. And that's normal for yeah. most powerlifters. I was a decent deadlifter and squatter. I'm not such a good bench presser. You know, Hicksy's pretty good all round. Mm. You get like Dan, um, Dan Bell, just a ridiculous squatter. Short femurs, built perfectly for squatting. As I said, you can't blame someone for their their physical attributes that they have. That's a, an advantage that they're given. But you just I, I just see these debates online all the time. Yeah. People say, oh, it shouldn't count. Oh, it should count. Or sumo's cheating. Sumo's, sumo's che not cheating. It's a different It's only lift. cheating if it's not allowed. So yes. anything yeah. is only cheating if it's not allowed. Like, I'm not a fan of the super wide bench presses with short range of motion. But if you're allowed to do it, do it. You can't say that. I'm not a yeah. fan of people deadlifting in straps, allowing the fingertips to do it. But I've done it myself before if it's in the rules. Desperation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do what you've got to do. If it's in the rules, you as an athlete will work around it best you can mm. to favour yourself. So we can't sit here and criticise when someone's done things that in the competition he's competing in, it's all been allowed. It's an incredible lift. Go check it out. Christoph is an incredible lifter. 502 and a half kilos. Let's see this on a big stage against, you know, a number of other great sumo lifters. Mm -hmm.